Welcome to the Garage Series. We are coming to you this week from New Orleans. My name is Jeremy Chapman. I'm Mark Cashman. So we're here to talk about not just the clients this week, but everything across everything. the whole stack. Everything. So we're talking about SharePoint, Exchange, Link, Link, even Yammer. Yeah. And we're going to work all Don't of that office in. Office client, office client. To see office client as well. To see if we can be productive across the entire stack and how that looks. Yeah. And we're going to see everything that all of these products coming together, what it contributes and gives you. And speaking of being productive, last week. You went wild. I went crazy wild. Crazy wild. I actually wanted to see if I could be productive in the harshest of conditions. Yeah. So I took Office and all the services around it, went out to the bayou with a local stuntman. And made it back intact. And made it back intact. Awesome. So pretty cool stuff, but we'll see how it ends up at the end of the show. Yeah. Before we start though, let's uh, lead off with today's trivia question. True or false, you can share a single file from SharePoint Online with an external user. Stay tuned for the answer at the end of the show. So Mark, we've got all these different places where we're storing data. If we think about email and SharePoint and all of that stuff, yeah. how does that really look? Let's, let's take a quick look in terms of the information architecture where all yeah. this stuff is let's kept. Let's start with the end user. What's their... So we have our end user and I'm an awesome drawer. And the center of gravity for them is going to be, in this scenario, Outlook. So he's probably typically using email. Yep. And we're going to see an email come in and then it's going to be going to Exchange because that's where you got naturally have email. Right. So the email itself is sitting inside of your Exchange server by default, right? By default. And we don't want to change that or move it from there. But it does have an attachment which is a document, different type of content. And one of the things that you don't want to do with email, obviously, is once it goes to one person, he doesn't want to forward it out to 10 other people yep. and have them all edit it, because then it's crazy when it comes back in 10 different yeah, versions. So let's put the document in a place where you can centrally manage it. That's so what we be... can then do is take that and actually throw that into a different data store, yep. basically throw it inside of SharePoint. So we got it down in SharePoint. Because we want, what, one version of the truth, right? One version of the truth. We don't want to email attachments all around. We want, once we get it inside, we want to put it in SharePoint and start managing it from there. Right, and so the nice thing is, too, we, we can be inside our, our boundary. Yep, so this is but, company A. But if we want to, we can also take that file, and even the individual file, yeah. and move that guy outside to maybe another organization, let's another, pick another a different country, different company, different and everything. And let's see, this is my attempt at drawing Australia. That's beautiful. So I've actually got a full end-to-end -end demo we'll both work on. Yeah, yeah. Where so what do, what do we share in here, the file or a link to the file? We're going to share a link to the file, obviously. And then I can do other things like use web apps and everything to actually view the file. Yeah, yeah. But I've actually called on the co-host of the Garage series, Yoni Kirsch, awesome. in Australia. And we're going to work through how somebody would be able to share a file externally we can jam on it internally and yep. then present it back how to the are we customer. Gonna how are we going to talk to Yoni at a distance? What other technology are we going to take advantage of here? Link? Of course, we're going to use email. We're going to use Link. And yep. we're going to use all the multi-party HD video, all of that stuff yep. that we can do, all in one cohesive end-to-end -end kind of flow. And then to drive up a little bit of enterprise social, once we get our final product, we want to use Yammer to share that information with the rest of the company. Right. Let's do it. So all, all the story starts in Australia. So let's take a let's look. Let's go to Australia. So we're going to involve our friend Yoni here, our other Garage Series co-host, and he's actually going to help us out from Australia. And really, let's take a look at where that doc's going to go. So actually, it's going to start out as an email that we're sending from Sydney. It's going to come to Seattle. At that point, we're going to want to take that file and actually put it in SharePoint, because the last thing I want to do is communicate that to 10 or 15 other people yeah, you, in email. You want one single source of truth, especially with something like an RFP. Right, so now I can send a link down to you, to Mark in this case, and then you, we can send out to more reviewers of the, of the document, yep. and we can actually look at that, and then once we're all finished, we can take that file and send the link back to 
the requester of yep. the proposal, so, Yoni, to approve it or deny that. But proposal. we can still manage the document in place while he gets full view and be able to approve it or, or decline it. Right. So let's go ahead and roll through the actual uh, the demonstration itself. Okay. Yoni's going to write the RFP, so he's uh, he's graciously accepted to do this live uh, via satellite from Sydney, Australia. He's attaching his RFP. Good day, Yoni. He's attaching his RFP inside of Outlook.com, which is obviously outside of our, you know, Exchange Online and yeah, internal yeah. environment. Totally different company. You and I work for one. He works for another. All right. So he's sending that out. Yep. Now I can go into my um, full desktop client, and the nice thing is I've already got a site mailbox. So I can take his his email and move that in. So that's now an exchange in the site mailbox. I can take his document, importantly, and move that into the document share. So that's pretty huge. Site. Through Outlook, you're putting mail where mail should be, and you're putting the document into SharePoint so you can manage it better. And from the normal user perspective, it looks like he's just storing it in a folder in Outlook. So he doesn't even know necessarily it's in SharePoint. But yep. now, when I look inside of SharePoint, I'll be able to find the document that I just saved, yep. request for proposal. It's sitting there as I expected it to be inside of my Northwind Traders site. And now if I go into the mailbox uh, in, this, in this particular app, I can look at what's in Exchange, the mail message, yep. which is there, and it's on file. Yep. So all of that is now centrally stored for the rest of the team to see and the rest of the team to work on from one source of truth. Definitely. Now I need to find people to help me with the documents. So I'm going to go ahead and go into SharePoint and look for people that know about the Bayou. So you're using the expertise search based on keywords or, or documents that people have it says, feel free created. to mention me in a post or ask me directly about the topics by you in New Orleans. So as I normally do, I randomly ping people in my organization <laughs> well, for you're, information. You're pinging me. You found me about and the I've Bayou. I've never talked to you before in my life, but I'm going to ask you, hey, Mark, can I ask you about the Bayou? And of course, of course you, you can. being the accommodating guy that you are, you agree to do that. So I do live down in the Bayou. I should know something about it. So yes. But it is kind of a strange question you got out of the blue. So I'm, I'm going to tell you what I'm trying to do here. Obviously, I'm of trying course. to schedule a, a trip or plan a trip with um, with my pal Yoni and his, and his uh, colleagues. Yep. And you being the gracious guy that you are, yep. you're going to help me with that. Awesome. Yeah, let's do it. So I'm going to go ahead and send you the RFP that Yoni sent to me. But yep. I, now I can only, if I want to, I just have to send you the link. Yeah, I'd appreciate it if you just send the link. Because once we start working on it, then we don't have versions everywhere. We just have that single document that you and I can always return to and work on at the same time. And I can control exactly who it goes to and all that stuff. Because I don't want that RFP to go to a competitor, maybe, to That's see true. that document. That's true. So. Now we're actually we've, so we've agreed to work on the on the file together. We've got the you know we've got the kind of rough sketch of what we want to do yeah. in terms of that. I want to make sure that the trip itself has that New Orleans flair. It's in the proposal itself, but just reiterate the fact that he wants to see music, cuisine, oh, the yeah. swamp flavors, Alligators. all that stuff. Oh yeah, the swamp boats will be awesome. Cruising them around, that'd be great. So all that stuff, and because you know the area well, you're the man to, to help me out. Yeah, yeah. We'll map the, out such an awesome trip. You were, as we found, the only person who actually <laughs> had Bayou in their profile. So um, You know when you're born with Bayou in the blood. So we'll save it centrally. We'll co-author it. So now I'm in the web app, awesome. and you can see both of us are on the app at the same time. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to work on the top section because I think that's where I can help the most right away. Right. We can talk and, about the trip to Louisiana. And, and I can see where you're working, which is kind of cool. And I hit yeah. the save icon there. I will see all your changes propagate. If everything's highlighted, I can see exactly what text you changed yep. right from the doc. So now let's open that up to a few more reviewers. Yeah, sure. Let's call so them in. We've called in Amanda and Celine to have a look at our file as well to make sure that we're covering our bases, making sure that we're still profitable with this trip in the end. That totally. we're not, um, and, and we got a lot of people going full HD video here in Link. Yeah, the nice thing is, you know, we've, we've optimized it for performance. We can do five tiles yep. with live HD. You know, when we get to more than five, we want to obviously, you know, make sure bandwidth the network and bandwidth and everything. But it's certainly so. a, a great, it's great great experience. We can see exactly what everybody's doing. Yeah, looks, like you're, looks like you're... Um, yeah, I'm in the document. Looks like you're in the document. Amanda's also in the document. Yes, and there, we're all using different uh, devices to work on it. So now I can send that back to Yoni. And the cool thing is here is I can actually share him a link just to the file from where we were all just working. Yep. So you're sending him, instead of sending him an email back as he sent to you, you're sending him a link based on the document that we've all been working on. Right, and we only have to send him permissions to get to that one file, not the whole <laughs> that's site. That's right, that's right. Because so, we might be working on 10 other proposals. Right. And if we so, send it just on this document, he can see just it. 
and I'm and I'm reviewing that through him. He's looking at the price, balking a little bit at the price. Oh, no, don't okay. change it. I hope he doesn't change it. Not giving me any indication as to whether or not he likes it quite yet, but he looks a little bit happy now. Oh, come on. Cool. All right. So he looks like he's ready awesome. to go. So now, what do you do when you're done selling something? You celebrate, and, and certainly you share with others in your company. So I right. think you should use Yammer to spread the word, the good news. Exactly. So we're going to go ahead and post to Yammer that, uh, hey, team, pack your bags. We're going to the bayou. Yeah. So Yoni has accepted our proposal. We're excited about that. And now we can actually do some cool work uh, in the bayou and really bring yeah, his We'll warm his up the crocodiles and the boats for you guys. Crocodiles, again, no, it's alligators. But speaking <laughs> of alligators and speaking of the bayou, we actually decided to see whether or not Office could truly be productive from anywhere. So we took it to the harshest conditions in New Orleans, to the swamp, to do a test Crazy. of Office in wild conditions to see if we could be productive. So let's roll the clip. So we're out here in the Louisiana swamp. We want to see if we can put Office to the test and really be productive from anywhere. I'm looking for the most dangerous locations. I got my friend Jeff Galpin, a survivalist, with me. Welcome to my backyard, the swamps. Probably the wildest, baddest place I know. So uh, I think you're ready. Oh wow, well, I think I'm, I'm up to the challenge. I've got my I got my Windows phone. Of course, it's gonna have 4G connection. It looks like right now we're we're connected. You <laughs> can get 4G in there. <laughs> we'll get 4G in there sometimes, but you know when we're offline that will work too. But of course, I got to start with installing Office first. Then we're gonna really put it to work. You ready to get started? <laughs> you ready to get started? Sure, I am. Let's go. All right, let's do this. All right, so we're about the best place to start as we can be. I have seven things I want to do to stay productive with Office. What I want to do is install Office. I'm going to stream it right from the cloud. Then once I'm done with that, I want to write a Word doc. And then after that, I'm going to take that trip report Word doc, convert that to PowerPoint. I want to tell all of my work coworkers about that on SharePoint and through Yammer. I want to save it to SharePoint. And then when I'm finished, I want to make sure I set up a meeting to review that with some of my coworkers. We're going to call them on link and look at all of the content I just generated in the next 30 minutes. So I've got 30 minutes to get all this stuff done. You think I can do it? We're going to see. How's your signal over here? Let's have a look. Right now, I have three bars at 4G. I'm ready to stream Office. All right, you're lucky. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Oh, we have a little friend here. Oh, wow. Well, he's going to watch us uh, stream Office. Let's get our first thing done because we don't have Office installed on this machine yet. Thankfully, I still got about three bars of, of uh, 4G connectivity here. How long will this take? It'll just take a minute or so, a minute or two. And then once we're, once we're done, it doesn't matter if we have a connection or not because we can still get work done. Because the next couple of tasks, I've got to write a Word doc. So I'm going to use the full Word client. And then I'm going to. Uh, build a PowerPoint presentation. When I get back online, I'll save all that stuff to SharePoint and connect to Yammer, but all the stuff I want to do now will work once the app's completely installed and ready to go, and it looks like it is right about now. All right, let's go. Now, these trees are pretty cool. I'm going to take a couple of pics. Take your dish. <laughs> nice. I've got a couple of good photos now. I can make my uh, trip report. Hey!
work up here on the high ground. All right, so I've got one more minute to do the last task and make my call. Dude, I gotta make a call here. Guys, you're never gonna believe this. I got all my work done. Man, those crocodiles were ferocious. <laughs> crocodiles? Those are alligators. What are you thinking? We're, we're in Louisiana, man. Still though, man, you're a hardcore workaholic. That was crazy. That was so much fun to shoot. We had a real stuntman with us. He could actually work with all of these animals and no animals were harmed during the filming of they this. They were audience. animatronic so, animals, right? No, those were real, real. live crazy. alligators here on crazy. set. So all that stuff that we did. Yep. And we also not only covered that, but we also had trivia at the beginning of the show. True or false, you can share a single file from SharePoint online with an external user. So it's a great answer. True, you can share a single file from SharePoint Online with an external user. Used to be at the site level, right? Right, and I used to always, I still get this question all yeah. the time. I just want to share that one thing, not the whole site. I've got one specific document that I want to share, and I want to share so, it easily externally. So totally super possible. cool functionality with SharePoint yeah. Online that we can do now. Yeah. Um, we covered a lot of ground also yeah. with we showed every, I think we showed everything. Site mailboxes, all the Link, stuff that a... HD video. Exactly, all stuff that any user might do in order yeah. to communicate with other colleagues, review stuff, yeah. you know, inside the firewall, outside with people. Yeah, yeah, just yeah, a bunch great. of stuff. So all of this and more can be found at microsoft.com slash garage. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next week.